everybody. So I've um, created my EndNote account, uh, my EndNote web account. And now that I'm on, uh, logged on on a browser, all I need to do next is to go to, um, uh, so I'm, again, I'm logged into EndNote web and I go to downloads here. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use this, but you can use, uh, but if you're on a, a PC, whatever, you can do that. And the installation instruct instructions are here. So I'm going to download, go to this guy, download this sucker. I'm going to open this installer. Double click that. And I want to do my, uh, generally speaking, most of you guys, you want to do your standard installation. If there's a problem, you can also use this routine to uninstall. Okay, so now I have my uh, file here and I have some text and I want to start adding in references. So I've, I've selected my EndNote um, uh, tool now, my, my new EndNote tool here on my toolbar. And there's a couple different ways to do it, but um, essentially all I need to do is, is put my cursor where I want the, the citation to go and then go and select the citations from my list and, and run with it. So for example, um, I can say insert citation. My library comes up and I'm going to say whatever. This is the reference I want. And then I'm going to say insert. And I notice it, boom, it shows up there. Uh, here, if I, if I wanted to add one over here, I would uh, say, boom, let me do this. And now if there's multiple ones, I could select, say, the one I wanted, scroll to whatever the next one I want, and, and hold the uh, command or control key down and then the next one, et cetera, hit insert. And now all of these will be inserted <clears throat> here in, in the correct order. Uh, and notice again, at the end of the text, wherever the, end, wherever the text ends in my particular Word document, the bibliography will begin to be added at the end. Also notice that I can redo this on the fly. So this is, I'm, my default is, is ecology, which is our default um, uh, formatting for ESRM, unless your, your faculty member wants you to use something different. Um, but I could, let's say I was going to submit this to the science or something. I just click that. It's going to automatically do everything on the fly. So um, all of the formatting is taken care of for you. There's a few tricks we sometimes need to do when we have things like um, uh, et al and stuff of that, but 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 uh, we can I can answer those questions individually for you. So this is how it works. Boom, it's done. Now, uh, what about the collab? Oh, sorry. Okay, then let me say, so we go through this, and now I'm going to want to share this to someone. As long as my partner, my collaborator, has my library, they can keep adding to it and tweaking it, etc. But what if I'm sending it to, let's say, a faculty advisor that doesn't have the library? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, make sure I you know, come up here, save my file, uh, save as file three or something. Okay. So, uh, boom, got it. Now, uh, so now I have this good file. But before I share it with someone that, again, does not have my uh, library and all my collaboration tools, notice when I put my cursor over here on the text, it's just like regular. It's a regular um, Word file. However, um, the, the um, stuff going on here is, is actually a special formatting cell and you'll, or a, a code. So you'll notice when I put my cursor here, look, it all shines up, it lights up as gray. Okay, and so uh, if I were to share this with someone, it, it can cause some issues, etc. So what I'm going to do before I share it with someone who does not have my uh, library embedded or whatever, I'm going to save a copy of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to hit Tools and say Convert to Unformatted Citations or Convert to Plain Text, depending on which flavor. Okay, so so now I got rid of those citations. And if I come up here and if I do plain text, it's going to give me a warning, say, yeah, okay. Now, uh, now I have, it's going to look the same. Notice this is a different document and I want to make sure I save this as a different thing. I want to overwrite my last name, right? And so whatever I call this, whatever the heck it is. Okay. And then, um, and so we got this going. But notice now that I've saved this as a, um, a non-dynamic version. Now when I put my cursor here, it's, it's stagnant. When I put it here, it's stagnant. So I can change and edit this as I see fit, and it will not change my master document. This, this is now just a dumb document that can be shared with anyone, submitted to the journal, submitted to somebody to provide review and feedback for you, etc.
So the last thing is, uh, so, so that, that's how we can have EndNote work uh, with our Word document as we're creating our text. Now, what about um, for our collaboration, for our group's sharing of a single uh, group of references? Okay, so for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, we have to start with one person. So, so let's say it's me, I'm gonna um, go to my um, uh, browser where, I where I'm logged in to EndNote Web. And this is just normally my stuff. So this is where I, I add stuff and I, I, you know, add references in here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go to, uh, let's see, manage, so organize and manage my groups. And I'm gonna say new group, uh, uh, capstone test, call it capstone test. And I'll say, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to um, uh, come up here, and I'm going to say manage sharing. So I, I can I can rename things. I can I get if I don't like the name, we can change it later. But I can come here to manage sharing, start sharing this group, and now I can type in the email addresses of all the folks that are in my group, and then uh, and I want to give them read and write privileges because we all want to contribute to this shared. Um, collection of, of references and do that. And then once I do that, it'll, sh uh, they'll all get an invite or, or, um, oh yeah, well, I didn't type anybody's addresses in here. So, so it didn't quite work, but, but, but you get the idea. So now we will, we will be sharing these references. And when I go to, um, insert, uh, references say over here, um, or something, and I come up here to my EndNote, this bad boy, and I say, insert reference, Uh, I can come up here and where um, so I, I'm in my libraries because I have the the uh, EndNote uh, version that is a standalone. I can just pick shared groups and then I can navigate through and find out what I, I don't have that active. My, my groups aren't aren't working right now with anyone, so I can't share this with anyone. But that's the idea. So it works exactly the same.